I have decided to take on one of the most difficult challenges in all of career mode. Fixing a one-star club. And not just any club, but quite possibly the worst club in FIFA. This is Kerala Blasters from the Indian Super League. And if I'm being brutally honest, their team is terrible. But today, it's my job to somehow make them the best club in the world. And so we're putting them in EFL League 2. And our journey towards the Premier League begins. Are we actually doing this? Are we managing an Indian Super League club with the goal of getting to the Premier League and beyond. Oh boy, I think just getting out of EFL League 2 in itself is going to be a massive challenge. Because I'll be honest, this team is pretty average. I mean, we've got a few decent players like Marco Leskovic, 68 rated, Adrian Luna, 68 rated too, Dimitri Diamantakos, is that his name? 68 rated. But one thing you'll notice, all the decent players that we've got, they're oldies. So yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of work to bring in some young talents and somehow make this team competitive in the long run. You know what? 3 million. I think that's a decent budget. We can work with it. But also, in this fixing challenge, there's one more rule we need to follow. Our starting 11 must have three Indian players at all times. And that's going to make things tricky, especially once we get to, let's say, the Premier League and all. We'll need to have Indian players that are genuinely amazing. I sense a bit of Youth Academy madness. That's what we'll need to do. All right, guys. It's time to work on the team. It's decision time. First season, do we bring in maybe a couple of signings? Or do we actually head towards the youth academy invest there and get some indian players in the squad in the first season itself first though we need to get ourselves a scout because there's no way i'm using a one star one star scout i'm thinking getting like a three star three star scout should be good enough let's do it and of course we are going to send him to india to hopefully get us some talents because we need them we need at least three amazing youth talents that can help us out actually we're still left with money to make signings because the youth academy projects weren't all that expensive I was actually looking for some Indian players to sign because that would really help us with our challenge. But none of them were really all that talented. Until I found this kid, Akash Mishra. 61 rated, guys. But he's only 21 years old. If we can get things working with him, he might actually be a player that sticks around for a long time. Do you know what? I think this will work. And for 500k, we end up making our first signing with Kerala Blasters. Just this start, guys, we've brought in a good player. But now, I think we're pretty comfortable for the first first season at least with the Indian player objective. So let's bring in some foreign talent that can really bolster this team. Just about 2 million left though, it's gonna be tight. Yo, we might actually sign a player from Borussia Dortmund. Okay, well not the first Dortmund team, Borussia Dortmund 2. But Luca on Behor, hopefully I'm saying his name right. I'm just gonna call him Luca. But yeah, he looks like a really good keeper. 65 overall should just about fit in our budget. Ooh, and I love that. Contract expiring. You know I can't say no to that. How would you believe it? For 900k we've got ourselves a solid goalkeeper and one that's super young too and can help us out in the future massively. I only just realized how bad our existing keeper was. The good thing we've got a 65 rated keeper to replace him with. Okay, I'm just checking how many Indian players we've got in here. Mishra is one, Kabra is another, my boy Abdul as well, and Singh should be. So, so we're, we're fine, we're fine. But only four Indian players, okay. We actually might just have money for one more signing. I'm gonna try something, let's see. This kid, Ethan Galt, I'm pretty sure had a Manchester United past. He's now playing at Salford City. Oh, he's on loan. No. Wanted to sign him. Maybe in the future we'll go for him. But for now, we'll keep the squad as is. First season, though, more than anything, it's important to get some players in from the academy. We've made it to the end of the season and we've actually finished 11th in League 2. I wasn't expecting to get promoted in our first season, obviously, so this isn't too bad. But what really matters is the all-round growth of the team. And looks like the keeper we signed, Luke, up to a 68 overall. My boy Mishra has grown pretty well too. But most importantly, looks like the Youth Academy project has worked because we've got a couple of players with really good potential. Mu Akhtar is the first one, a potential top class striker. And then we've got Sheik who looks like a good future right winger. Maybe next season if we promote these two guys and improve the rest of the team, we can pass the first hurdle and that's getting promoted to EFL League 1. But I don't think that's going to be easy. We're kicking off season 2 by promoting this youth academy player Mu Akhtar into our first team. Guys, we need to have three Indian players in the start.
starting 11 at all times and having an academy player i think is the smartest thing we can do because he can keep growing and we've also got this shake guy in the academy right now but i think we're gonna have to wait a season before he gets better to promote it but the good news is we can use this 8 million budget that we've got to improve the rest of the team and boy do we need to improve it and so we've just signed our first player of the season max bird finally guys we've signed a 70 overall player that's gonna be so useful and this kid is just 23 years old this is absolutely what we need but i think what we also need is probably a better defender and both our defenders are foreign players anyway so we can replace at least one of them and we've just made our second signing in ronnie edwards a 21 year old center back with a lot of potential i think this is an amazing signing guys i think we've made a couple of really nice upgrades to the team but are these new signings gonna be enough for us to get promoted i mean this team still pretty much looks like a one star team so i'm not sure but if we can just get some solid growth on our new signings our keeper mishra as well akta too i think we'll be building a solid foundation we're making our way to the end of this season okay guys we've made it to the end of the season and where have we finished okay i think in a promotion spot Can you believe it we've popped the efl league two a one star club is now getting promoted to league one that is honestly insane am i seeing things or has mu akta just gone up by 10 ratings in a season that is unbelievable we might have created the next messi for india and also solid growth on all the signings we've made as well i mean just look at mu akhtar's season that is crazy by the way this kid is 17 but look at his face he literally looks like he's 45 years old anyways guys we've built a great foundation it's now time to constantly keep moving up the divisions the worst club in fifa is no longer i would say the worst club in the game because we're in efl league one we're moving up the divisions but the goal is now to get to the championship and also this season we're getting a bit of help from the youth academy because they made for shake it's time to promote him all right guys i'm promoting him to the senior team with that i think we've got our three indian players completely sorted in the team it's going to be shake akhtar and mishra and we just got to build the rest of the team around them and you know what we've got money to do so about 13 million and since we're now in league one we can finally sign players from the championship which means some exciting signings probably on the way i'm thinking guys this season we've got to get ourselves another better center back probably could do with a more goal scoring winger as well so let's see if we can improve those positions signing from the championship is definitely a lot more fun because i can get this guy jacob griefs from hull city 74 rated should fit in our budget plus contract expiring it's music to my ears i'm trying to sign him for 5 million that would be an absolute steal 5.5 nah i'm still gonna try and be stingy boys because i want to get the best deals possible 5.2 million it is let's go guys we've just signed a center back that's 74 rated i'll tell you this that defense has never looked this good what if we also sign christos Cholis playing for norwich city his contract's expiring too 23 year old left winger i know this kid's got the potential i think if we sign him we could probably get promoted to the championship directly and so for 5 million we've signed the winger from greece guys what a massive upgrade this is over a 64 rated player to bring in Cholis. we have really built a team but really spent almost all our budget to improve the team and i feel we've got what it takes to get promoted all we need is the indian contingent of our team to grow well in their overall and i think we should be fine we've made it to the end of the season and look at how good new up there's been i think we've legit created the best indian player of all time yep he might actually be even better than sunil chetri 27 goals in 55 games for him that is insane but not just that all our new signings seemingly are doing well cholis is up to a 76 look at our keeper up to a 77 overall i told you trusting akash mishra was going to be the right thing because he's up to a 71 as well and here's the other academy player going up by nine ratings up to a 70 our team is definitely good enough but have we managed to secure promotion uh yes but no we don't get direct promotion to the championship but we finished third and that means we're gonna have to go through the playoffs all right so up first we've got the semi-finals where we're up against blackpool come on first leg we've got the players guys we've got the players can we beat blackpool come on please yes we can all we need is a draw from this game and that'll be perfectly fine but look at this we end up beating blackpool this is it guys the promotion playoff final we're up against bolton wanderers win this game and we'll be heading to the championship
championship, closer to the Premier League and the Champions League and whatnot. I'm definitely a bit nervous, but the truth is we have the team. Can we be bolted and make it to the championship? Yes, we can. Mu Akta scores the winner in the 86th minute. And so we've now taken a one-star club from the Indian Super League all the way to the championship. But this is just the start. You guys know where we want to be. We've made it to the championship, guys. Just one league away from being in the Premier League. Well, but our budget isn't reflecting that. I think we'd have more money this season, but 13 million, okay. The truth is, guys, I think all we need to do this season, get ourselves a new striker and probably a right back. And we've genuinely got a team that could maybe compete for promotion or at least be in the mix of things. But the fact that we've taken a one-star club at this point is just amazing. But let's keep improving the team. I think I've found the striker I want to sign. Ellis Sims, 74 rated, just 25 years old, has a good five, six years of his prime left. And also, look at that hairstyle. That's a good enough reason alone to sign it. For 6 million, we've got ourselves a new striker. Finally, guys, Muwak that has got a solid strike partner alongside him. Two 74 rated players up top. Also, guys, don't forget, now that we're in the championship, we can officially sign players from bigger leagues like the Prem. And so, this is an opportunity to bring in a youngster like Alvin Ramsey from Liverpool. 72 rated, lot of potential, and contract expiring. Like, this is a no-brainer. There you go, a top class signing. We're finally signing players from the Premier League. And oh, look at that sprint speed, acceleration, agility. This kid's a baller. We've definitely made some solid improvements to the team, but is it going to be enough to compete in the championship? We're making it through the season to find out. We've made it to the end of the season, and once again, we're going to have to go through playoffs, which is frustrating, but I didn't expect so early on to have a chance to beat the Premier League. Before the playoffs, though, look at this team. Our goalkeeper is now 82 rated. The back line is amazing. A bit of slow growth on the Indian players, but Akhtar has been flying. I would expect a bit more from Sheikh, but overall, I think even if we get to the Premier League, we should be ready to just about survive, and then we can build from there. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We first need to win the playoffs. Let's go. We've knocked out QPR, and now just the finals remain. Oh boy, against Southampton, I think we've got a challenge. They're usually a Premier League level club, but can we beat them and make it to the Premier League ourselves? This is it, and yes, we do. Three two in the final playoff stub once again off we go into the world's best league we've made it to the premier league yep guys a club from the indian super league is going to be competing against man united man city liverpool and the rest but honestly i don't think our team is good enough to survive the indian players we've got here mishra and Sheikh, they need to grow a lot more midfield is a bit mad defense kind of the same we've got a good keeper and all but there is a lot of work that needs to be done if we want to survive the premier league Thankfully, because we've gotten promoted, 62 million is our budget. I think that should be good enough to at least build a side that can survive the Premier League. Because only if we do that, we can even dream of winning the Premier League and qualifying for Champions League and everything else. First thing I'm checking is if we can put development plans on our Indian players to get them higher up. And I think we can on Akash Mishra. If we just put him on a wide back development plan, he's going to improve in a lot of key areas. Okay, the good news is Sheikh should grow faster this season. That's what I'm hoping for. Thankfully though, Mu Akhtar is an absolute baller, guys. So, so we should be fine because of him. But what we need to do is get the other players in this team sorted and for that, we have the money. After some shrewd negotiations, we make our first signing as a Premier League club and it's Oliver Skip. And the fact that we got him for just 25 million, it's an absolute steal. Not gonna lie, Oliver Skip is gonna be a massive upgrade because he's 83 rated. Look at those stats. We're gonna put this Kaliujini guy on the bench. He'll improve our squad depth and of course, Oliver Skip as a starter. That is one hell of a midfield. But now, 32 million and we're going to be on the hunt for a striker. I really want to sign for Lauren Balogun. You guys have seen what he can do with Arsenal briefly. Of course, in all his loan spells. If we can bring him in here, that's a striker that can guarantee us goals. But guys, he's slightly out of our budget. Uh, that is so frustrating. Wait a minute, guys. I'm sure we should get some money from season ticket sales. And would you believe it? Budget's gone up to 38 million that's what we needed but no while we waited for the season ticket money to come in Balogan made the transfer to Frankfurt and now his price has gone up we're gonna have to look elsewhere it wasn't easy finding another striker within our budget but Matias Arezzo <laughs> plays for Uruguay maybe the next Luis Suarez I don't know but I think we should be able to sign him I really think we need a striker guys because Sims I don't think he's gonna grow and become a top class striker we need some depth there and if we can get this Arezzo again for like 25 million, say 
same price we paid for Skip. That would be huge and we're, we're almost able to do exactly that. With that, we've got our new star striker, Matias Arizo from Uruguay. With the signings of Arizo and Skip, our first team actually doesn't look all that bad. Problem really arises with our bench and because of that, I'm unsure whether we're good enough to survive the Premier League or not. I guess it's time to find out. First season in the Premier League and honestly, I'll take this. 13th, yeah, we had a negative goal difference and points total pretty average, but we didn't get relegated. That in itself is a win, but we're a long way away from getting towards that Premier League trophy. But hey, at least we had some incredible player growth this season. Look at Sheik up to a 79, Mishra up to a 78, Upta has reached 84. Guys, we're getting to a point where this first team is genuinely awesome. The only problem we have really is the squad depth. We've got to work towards that. I mean, look at this. We've got a striker in Akta who managed to score 18 goals this season. Hopefully next season we get some good money, which we can use to improve the rest of the team. Also, guys, we're getting so close to 900k subscribers. And if you can help me out by subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing. This is now our sixth season with Kerala Blasters. And I really think we've got what it takes to make a push further forward. I know we finished 13th last season, but that was kind of because we didn't invest in squad depth because our bench is, I think, what's letting us down. So this season, with the 54 million that we've got, we're going to work on squad depth. So expect to see three or four signings this season. We've already made our first signing, and it's Garang Kual from Australia. I remember seeing him at the World Cup, by the way. He almost scored the equalizer against Argentina, if I'm not wrong. But hey, he didn't, and Messi won the World Cup. We also signed Adil Uachiche for some more squad depth. 78 rated left midfielder. The bench is going to look quite good now. Look at this now, guys. A couple of signings, and we can improve our bench massively. This is what we need. And we're still sitting with about 33 million left to spend. I'm trying to sign a center back, guys, and he's from Liverpool. It's Bichi Abu. Don't know what he's doing there. 23 years old, 70 bar rated. This is the squad depth we need. And guess what? For 8 million, this is a steal. And hence, we've got Bichi Abu joining our team. Guys, I'm still telling you, 8 million for him is a steal. He's going to reinforce our bench even compete for a starting spot in the future. But we were not done yet. One more transfer was in order. Iroh Gunam is the final player we're signing this season. A CDM with a lot of quality. 78 rated as well. That's exactly what we need. Alright guys, we spent the entire window literally not making a single improvement to our starting 11, but completely sorting out the bench. And I really think this is going to have a big impact in the Premier League. Time to find out. Okay, slowly but surely we are making improvements. Stent in the Premier League this season, but what do we need to do to make that push further up? I mean, this season, Mo Akta was amazing, up to an 86 overall as well. Shake is now 82. He grew really well. All around, the team has been growing in an amazing fashion. We've got a great bench as well. I think every season from now on, we need to just invest all our money into one superstar signing. Maybe that's what's needed to take this club to the next level. Alright, guys, this is now season 7 with Kerala Blasters. We're no longer a one-star club, a finished football club, not Thing of that sort. We've really got the team to, I think, challenge for the Premier League title. It's just that we're lacking maybe a few superstars, a few mega players. And with a budget of 84 million this season, I want to change that. I'm thinking, guys, we bring in a center back. That could genuinely be game changing. Probably could do with a great fullback as well. Let's keep it to center back, I guess, to start with. The Premier League probably has some really good center backs. Let's see who we can get. Not gonna lie, I like the idea of Mark Guehi. 86 rated. If we can get him for a good price this might be it this is going to be the biggest signing i think we've made so far we're going to drop a ton of cash on this i'm hoping it's worth it we're starting with a 55 million bid they want 64 i think we can reach an agreement at 60 million that would be that would be okay and there you go 60 million it is this is by far our biggest signing yet and i'm just hoping it'll make a difference with gray coming in definitely the defense has been improved massively the team is there guys this season if not winning the premier league i want to push for top for at the very minimum. That's what I'm talking about, guys. One big signing, and look at that. Mark where he changed this team. Second, we're so close to our objective of making Kerala Blasters one of the best teams in the world, but still, five points off Chelsea. That's something we're going to need to sort out next season. Oh, and by the way, the Indian contingent of our team, look at Mishra, 85 rated. Ruak that might end up winning a Ballon d'Or at some point, and look at Sheik, he's, he's doing okay too. Rest of the team is growing as well. But yeah, man, it's been seven 
seven seasons now, I think we need to start winning the big trophies. Let's go, guys. This season, we've got that Champions League money coming in. 184 million. I reckon I can make a couple of amazing signings. Let's get to work, because this season, I want to win the Premier League. We're starting things off by making yet another big money signing, Alessandro Bastoni for 68 million. Oh, man, with Bastoni and Guehi there, this backline is insane. But we still have another 100 million left. And with that, I'm trying to sign Chua Meni, who's currently playing for Man City. Signing him is not going to be easy, but we're starting with 80 million. And okay, looks like 86.6 should get it done. This is by far the most expensive signing we've made. We've got Chua Meni entering the building. What a transfer. Oh man, with Bastoni and Chua Meni coming in, this team looks unstoppable. We've even got an amazing bench, except our goalkeeper position. Oh boy, if Unbehorn gets injured, we're going to be completely mudded. Don't forget, we're also going to be the Champions League this season. Oh, and we've got a pretty easy group. That's brilliant. We've done what we can with our team. It's time to get through the season and see if we can win the big trophies. All right, guys, halfway through the season, this is what we need, but why are Brentford second in the Premier League? Okay, this might be our chance to win the league. And also in the Champions League, we've destroyed our group. This season could be it. We're now making it to the end of the season. I'm nervous, man. We've worked so hard with this team. A one-star club. Can we finally make it the best in the world? We've made it to the end of the season and Brentford have fallen off. That could be a good sign. And yes, we've won the Premier League. Oh man, it's taken us a while to get here, but we've done it. A one-star club from the Indian Super League, quite possibly the worst team in FIFA. We've got them to win the Premier League trophy. But there's something still left and yes, we're gonna be in a Champions League final against Barca. We've literally got an Indian player Mu Akhtar playing in the Champions League final. How crazy is that gonna be? The same goes for Devendra Sheikh as well and even my boy Mishra who's kind of surprised everyone and grown so much. It's time for the final and I can't wait for this game. Wait, wait, wait what? There is an unavailable player within your chosen starting 11? No, 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 no. Unbehan is injured for the final. You guys know what that means? Khan, literally the only other keeper we've got. Yeah, we're gonna have to play him in goal. Bro, he's 55 rated. This is, this is nah, nah, nah. We're gonna get destroyed. Is it even better to maybe just put Bruh. in someone like Oliver Skip in there? Probably not. I'm sure Khan is, 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 is a half-decent keeper. Oh, boy. Look at the rest of the team and then look at our keeper. Well, we're going to rely on you, Khan, for this final. I guess the game plan is just don't let them shoot. Okay, the plan don't let them shoot might fail because Barcelona already on the attack. And well, 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 we concede in eight minutes. What on earth was that? How did my keeper concede that? Near post. I guess this is what you get for a 55 rated yeah. keeper. My guy's reaction time was so slow. Remember, guys, if we don't win this game, we're going to have to play through another season to try and win the Champions League. Ah, yes, Mo Akhtar, Champions League final. Oh, my God, he's actually scored an Indian player scoring in a Champions League final only on FIFA. I guess at least we've got it back to square one, but I don't know how we're going to survive with our goalkeeper being absolutely useless. Here we go. Maybe a cross to the back post. Come on. Let's go. Jolly scores. That header kind of reminded me of Cristiano Ronaldo. That's the thing, guys. Our attack is so freaking good. Our midfield and defense as well. As long as we can keep Barcelona away from shooting at our keeper, we should be fine. Oh, this is where problems arise. This is where problems arise. Come on. Oh, can't make a save. Let's go. Yep, brilliant. Our keeper just can't do anything. This game is going to be the most frustrating game of my life, man. Every time we score, you just know our keeper's going to mess things up on the other end. All rests on Mo Akhtar. Can he do a madness? Oh, oh, what, what just happened? What just happened? Barcelona's defense had a brain fart. We'll take it. To be honest, guys, scoring a goal against this Barca team, not the hard part. Now the job to try and defend, that's going to be tricky. No, no, no. We can't let them shoot because our keeper's not going to save anything. No, 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 no. Bicycle kick. Honestly, if that wasn't target, it would have probably gone in. I really don't want this game going to penalties, man. We need somebody to perform. Oh, Akhtar, brilliantly done. Arizo, that might be it. Yes, 84th minute. Jolly, that's it. Jolly, we've won the Champions League. Don't let them shoot. That is literally our game plan right now. Quahi, no, nope. Felix. What a block from Bastoni. That might have saved us the final. And it's done. It's done. Oh, my days. That goal in the 84th was enough to win us the Champions League. A one-star club. The worst club in FIFA. We've taken them to the very top, winning the Champions League. Oh man, this was a grind. It took me eight seasons to get this done. But you know what was even more difficult? Fixing the poorest club in FIFA. Click here to watch that.